Hey guys, it's Jenny. Before we jump into this vlog, I want to do a quick announcement because Linkin Park is going to be giving their own show on June 20th in Ziggo Amsterdam. Ticket sale starts on April 7th and I am definitely going to be there. I am so excited. The vlog is about 10 minutes long and after that I put the four acoustic songs that I put also put in the vlog but then like the full length of them. So if you want to see that, you can just keep on continue watching and um, if you just hear just for the vlog, you know that's not that long of a vlog. It's just actual 10 minutes. So I hope you enjoy it. It's a little bit windy. Next time I'll put on a uh, fluffy thingy on the microphone so it's not that windy anymore. I got a new camera I'm so happy with it as well. I'll explain everything about this day on Monday because it just came out of nowhere and I'm, it's just so cool. Also make sure to subscribe so you can keep updated to the interview with Chester. I'll be uploading around May 19th and other band news of course and just yeah I hope you enjoy this vlog. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. Right now I'm on my way to Amsterdam. I'm so excited and nervous, but I am so excited. I don't know what to say. Today I'm gonna go to, first I'm gonna go interview Chester Bennington at their hotel. And then later they have an acoustic show, which I'll be filming. Then after the show, they have a live Q and A and a meet and greet. So obviously I'll be filming everything with you guys. And um, yeah, it's, it's just, ooh, I need to practice a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurry up now. All right, I made it in Amsterdam. And uh, we're gonna hang out. I'm here with my boyfriend. We're gonna hang out. Okay, so we just got back from the interview. It was so nice. Chester was so nice. I was so nervous and he talks a lot. But that's that was really nice because I thought I was I, I was so scared that like there will be silences and it started being awkward, but it wasn't at all. And after the interview I told him I think you already pushed the record button, so I didn't we have we didn't capture that on film, but I told him that this was that this was my very first interview ever and he was like, Whoa, are you serious? And I think he was quite surprised and thought it was funny that I just said yes to this opportunity instead of saying no I don't know how to do this so I think everything went great I'm so happy and relieved now I'm gonna chill out and relax and enjoy the sun for a moment and after two hours we're gonna go to the acoustic show and I'm allowed to film there I think I already told you guys but uh, yeah so that's gonna be awesome so I'll check in with you guys uh, when I'm there later oh it's so windy <laughs> you here we're almost at the venue now so I think the next shell is gonna be inside are you still enjoying your drink. <laughs> okay. We made it into the venue. Ooh, oh my god, I saw the I saw the area already and it is so small and there are chairs everywhere and there's a couch on the uh, on the stage so it's gonna be a very intimate thing. I'm gonna film it for you now it's still empty. It's so cool. I'm so excited. How excited are you? I like this quality of this camera man look how awesome it is. Okay, let's go inside. So I need to get used to this. Ah, uh, okay. But hey, hi. Can you say hi? Yes. Yeah, the rest of the rock and rollers. Hi, I'm this Frank. This is so funny. Yeah, because I saw that I was texting with you for a while already. Yes. And then later I found out that you were who you are, Frank. I'm Frank. <laughs> yes. We've been talking a lot uh, about Blink 182. Yeah. And then I got a, uh, a message from you like, hey, are you the one who is selling all the Blink stuff on this oh, Dutch oh, market? Yes. <laughs> That's right. That was so cool. I do have some other stuff there though, so if you're still interested, I'll see you Just let me know. Are you excited? Yeah. I just, I need to focus on the lens, not on the screen above. I need to get used to it. Do you want to have a drink? I guess some drinks. Okay, so apparently the meeting greet is only for press, I guess? I don't know, I thought it was public. I thought everybody in this in this venue would go to the meeting greet. It's pretty cool. I'm excited. I'm so excited. We're trying to connect with people. You know what I mean? Like we're trying to make a record that like has stellar songs that people want to listen to all the time. Look at all these beautiful faces. <laughs> so Let's talk about the album quickly. Okay. Yes? Yeah. Um, because sound wise and even songwriting wise, you've changed things up a little bit this time, right? Yeah, I mean, it's like for people that have followed the band for a while, I don't think it's, um, I think they know to expect, you know, surprises, unexpected stuff. On, uh, on June 20th at the Zigo Dome <laughs> in Amsterdam. <laughs> Hope you can come. <laughs> the catch is, is that we're only doing Beach Boys covers. That's the only in Amsterdam. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll take it. 
take it. <laughs> Okay, so this is more of a general question. Uh, what's the funniest thing that ever happened at a concert? Oh, dude, so many. Good one. I got one so right off the bat. There was a there was a thing for a while where people were sending like like reposting this this um, video or, or or gif of me. That's what I was playing guitar and I had a mic on the mic stand, so I didn't have my I couldn't use my hands because I was playing. And somebody, some girl threw their bra and it landed like right like this. Like, it's just like right there, and I'm just like. Oh, dude, like, oh. That reminds me of another really gross bra story. So, I mean, a kiss sweaty concert bra is dude, not a good okay, that's so not like, a good so like, Not a good smell. When bra. I think of a bra, I only think of happy things. <laughs> like, I, it's just, it, it smells nice, it looks pretty, it, 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 everything about it makes me happy, right? But you girls know better than any guy, there are certain bras that you guys wear that are not pretty, that they're gross. It's when you're doing things that you know are going to be disgusting, like sweat, or like work out, or like do whatever, right? So we're playing the show, we're outside at this festival. It was like one of the first big festivals we'd ever played. All of a sudden, like I'm like rocking, and like there's sweat flying everywhere, and this, I mean, when I say giant, it is the largest cup size I've ever seen in my life. It was like you could put a basketball, fully inflated basketball inside one of these, and it just goes boom on my face. And it's all sweaty, and it just smells, and it's just like on my head, and it's like, ah! It's disgusting. I've felt this way before. So insecure. I'm doing it. I'm doing it good. Oh, we are so tired, but it was so much fun today. I uh, I have no words. I did not. Th this came out of nowhere. I'm gonna make a separate video for this as well, so you guys back home are kind of understanding like what just happened because it is so weird that I go from back home sitting on my bed making videos to a day like this. I want to thank Gislaine from Warner Music a lot, like big shout out to you and Chris for hooking me up with Gislaine and of course the rest of the team of Warner that made this all happen. Obviously, thinking Park and Chester. <laughs> I am gonna uh, upload the interview on May 19th when the album is gonna be released. So um, then you will find out the interview. So because I'm not allowed to, sh to share that yet, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And um, yeah, make sure to subscribe so you can keep updated on that interview that I'm posting. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!
Uncertainty 